Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, I'm going to be showing you the easiest investments to make in FC25 right now to double, triple, or even quadruple your coin. So if you're wanting a team like mine, or even better, you're in the right place, and all you've got to do to say thank you is drop a like down below, free, subscribe, free, and join the Discord, also free. So make sure to do all of those things. And of course, if you want to get yourself some coins and you want the cheapest ones, well, do you want the best team in FC25? Yeah, baby! Do you want to be playing with the best players in the game like this and not be stuck with teams like this? Okay. Then you need to head over to Skycoach. .gg. Select the amount of coins or the type of weekend league boost you need and enter code PROREcoil for 10% off of your order. So first of all, we're going to look over the 84s all the way to the 89s in cheapest buy rating on Footbin. We're even going to take a look at the 90s. Now, right now, these are your prime investments and we're going to run through the best price points for all of them. And of course, courtesy of the Discord, we even have a price list. Now, first of all, your 84s, you're going to want to pick up at 3,000 coins. This is because obviously they're a little bit inflated right now, but nowhere near as inflated as they're going to get when the next party bag comes out the next spc requiring them comes out it's just relentless with these lower rated fodders right now because it's so hard to get high rated fodder ea are really pushing these now it's always best that we can snipe these in groups of course if you can get a filter which is going to get you a few of them that is going to be much more easy but if we can go one by one the lick is right now the cheapest now because he's the cheapest on footbin the chances are there's going to be a lot of cards uh, that are taken at those prices because there's a lot of people that can see he is the cheapest we've got one there at 2.9 which is not too bad at all anyway what we'll do is we'll see if we can get anything at 3.1 3 or 2.9 that's the prices i'm willing to pay right now for these 84s i do believe them going back at least to that higher amount of around four four five that they have been before upon sbcs we can see we're picking up these quite smoothly now i would say we're not even sniping these delict cards i think we could definitely do some snipes so it's worth having a look at that as an option as well you don't want to just pick up your investments at base price of course you can because they're investments the idea is they're going to rise anyway but with these cards we can certainly give our best chance at picking them up a little lower now i do think that was probably a little bit slow with the sniping but on my controller i'll be honest i'm having a little bit of a hard time at the minute i use the d-pad usually on my regular controllers i've got an elite one now which is brilliant for the likes of call of duty i'm not having the most fun with it for the likes of fc25 sniping so we're gonna have to see maybe we use the toggle joystick of course we've also got the x and b option uh, going ahead and trying to do the compare price method oh we've missed a 3k but we got a few now next up we're going to go try for one that's not necessarily in the list for footbin as the lowest but that should suggest that we're going to be easier uh, or having an easier time of sniping him now of course we didn't get that first one but there is two sitting at 3k which means ideally we should find a few more like that 3k there again and robert's blundered the snipe robert has managed to recover it's okay i seem to be doing that a lot right now like i miss that first initial snipe and then sometimes get the second but of course a lot of the times it's already bought let's see if we can do a d-pad snipe and maybe i can recover my rep reputation as a foot sniper and we got oh i almost thought we got it i thought we got it and we did get that one so that is ideal now of course guys the arrivals rewards comes out tomorrow if you're watching this they may have already came out but it's a good time to go and purchase a ton of these after the rewards once rewards came out within the hour or two hours especially with our high end for that that is your mark looking at the 85s we ideally want to hit these guys at around 5.5 and lower so obviously gamaraj there we've got matina stones watkins it's difficult to get these on a filter together i'm going to check if we can get sane and paulina on a filter together now, i've taken a quick look there isn't a way to filter to them together unfortunately but we're just going to go first of all for brant to see what brant looks like now obviously he's the cheapest on footbin the chances are he's actually a little bit more expensive than what is listed on footbin right now he's on footbin for 5.9 we would look to get him for 5.5 and below we've got 5.4 coming up instantly that might be a good sign of course as i say he's the cheapest on footbin so ideally we want to be going for another one of the cards robo la soma gamaraj stones are the ones i'm looking at in my head as going to be the best options for us oh we got one here oh that was i knew that was i knew we missed that that was obviously a miss so we've got a couple stones at 5.7 we want to be picking them up at 5.5 or below now obviously brant being oh we've messed it up oh we haven't we haven't we got them at 5.5 that is a win. So obviously, you saw there, I'm just having a little bit of trouble uh, with my keys at the moment. I'm really fumbling a lot of these snipes just because of some missed clicks, but it's okay because we can still make a ton of coins. Oh my God, that would, ah, oh, of course. 
I don't know if that's the game or if that's me, but that 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 one was rude. We would have made a nice bit off that one instantly, or we could have waited and made even more uh, in a couple of days off of these investments. Very disappointed that we missed that one. Now, what we can do for Declan Rice is we can get a nice little filter that is going to have him and Saka in as well. So Rice is sat around 13k. We ideally want to pick him up at 12. Now, if we go gold rare, Premier League, Arsenal, and England, you will see, of course, Saka and Rice. Now they're both the same rating. Of course, Saka he is sat here very, very similarly priced. So if we go down to around 13k, do we see many of them? We've just got a rice there. Of course, that is the cheapest price, ideally, or supposedly that he's going for. Now, we've got both of these here sat around this kind of mark. So what we're going to do is we're going to pop it at, I would say, 12,750. See what comes up. Of course, we can compare price of something. If it does come up, we can potentially buy it. I would ideally like to get these at 12,000 coins, but being that they are good fodder and they are definitely going to be used in a lot of SBCs. It doesn't make too much not wow that was terrible sentencing from me. It it makes sense to pick them up at like 12750 still. They are still a good buy at that price. We're going to grab two 13s for the meantime. That is a pause sentence and a half. Saka there at 13 as well. So we've got a few here at 13. Obviously, these can hit 15 quite comfortably. Ideally, we do want to go a little lower. Obviously, when Div Rivals Rewards comes out, I do predict we can get these for 12, maybe even less. So it might be worth waiting till then. Now, something else that's absolutely worth investing in is Team of the Weeks. Now, of course, right now, these are 15,500 coins. Once rewards comes out, these should absolutely drop. The minimum for a very low-rated inform is ridiculous right now. 14, 15,000 coins for these cards that simply should not be going for that much. And as you can see, they are going like that. So heading over to my inform storage, we can see that we can make 15k a piece of all of these. So if I pop this one up for 15,000, we can pop Chambers up similarly for 15 15k we picked him up for 10k a while back so we'll get him gone up there as well you can see i've got a pretty big storage of informs so i don't necessarily need these right now we're going to get anago martinez for i'd probably say I guess 35,000 coins probably makes sense for him right now. So a lot of coins coming from just players that I've got stashed in my club. Now, of course, that's not investment. That's just cards that I've got lying there. But informs will go back down and they're absolutely worth getting again. Just like we say with 84s, 83s, 85s, anything that goes to its minimum is worth getting invested in. And the only other thing that you want to get invested in is this channel. So make sure to do that and I'll see you tomorrow. No surprise at all, guys. We have another hero pack to go with the hero SBC. This one is rated up to 87, but we're praying for a good one and hopefully not the same person I get in the pack. We've got Cam. We've got Lipmanen. I think Lipmanen. I don't know if that's trash or not. You guys might have to help me gauge on that one. Is that trash? I've not seen him. We got Cordoba. Is that a double? Did we get a double hero? Oh, that's quite cool. Wait, so one of them... So one of them wasn't even the hero from the pack and Cordoba's sick. That's a dub. That's a double dub. What the hell? What the hell? And we got Haaland. Oh my God. That is a good pack. We got Cordoba. Littmanen sucks. And he was the one that we shouldn't have even been in the pack. That's crazy. That is crazy. That is an insane pack. One million coins almost return from a pack. I can't believe we've got that. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to drop a like down below. That might be the craziest pack of FC25 so far.